Proverbs chapter 4, and I read from verse number 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked, go not into the way of evil men. Avoid it and pass not by it, turn from it and pass away. For the step not, they sleep not except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Let us read verse 18 together. One to go. But the path of the just is as a shining light that shines more and more and more unto the perfect day. Psalm 112. And I read from verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord that delighted greatly in his commandment. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endure forever. Unto the upright there arises light in darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever and the righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting the Lord. His heart is established and he shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. This morning... To speak to us very briefly on the subject title walking in the path of the just many out there do not understand how we got to where we are to where we are today many have misconstrued our message on this mountain many have misinterpreted our actions in the nation but one thing i want you to leave away from here today it is profitable to serve god in righteousness he said the path of the just, the path of a righteous man is a path that continues to shine more and more. This nation being what it is, people think and people say and people believe that when you are prospering and things are happening for you in quick succession, it means you are dealing with some diabolical power. But I want you to take this message out today. Liberty Christian Center is where we are today because we are treading the path of the just. The path of the just. I thought you said better, amen. amen. The Bible said the path of the just is as a shining light. You have not seen anything yet. Nation of Liberia, you have not seen anything yet. Because this ministry is set for the rise and the falling of many. This commission is set for the rise and folly of many. Those who wish us well and identify with the move of God from this place and in this place they will rise. And those who cook up evil and wickedness against us and against the plan and the purpose of God for this nation, they will fall. He said, for the path of the just is as a shining light that shines more and more until the perfect day. I tell you the truth, God saw the face of Christianity in this nature and he sent me to make a difference. He sent me to make a difference. Have you heard of a church where we would take a good portion of our income in a month to sponsor people to get married only because we don't want to see them living in sin? Have you seen a church that when you walk after a period of time, unknown to you, the pastor called you as a pastor and gave you D and diagram to a parcel of land that belongs to you? Have you seen a church that as early as four years, five years old, we started buying cars and giving it to people who labor as called laborer with us i want to assure you that there's anything good you desire you should desire that this vision goes forward because this vision by the help of god will change the face of christianity in this nation 
He said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways, I, God, will hear from heaven and I will heal the land. Our problem in this nation is not a political problem. Our problem in this nation is a deep spiritual problem. And those of us who are called by his name, who are spiritual people, we need to walk in the path of the just. We need to stop injustice on our streets. We need to stop injustice in our communities. We need to stop injustice in government. We need to stop injustice in our way of life. We need to stop nepotism and tribalism in our lives because those things will never help us. We need to stop mob violence in our nature and turn to the right way. Start walking in the path of righteousness. We suffer all that we suffer in this nation. My generation, which is your own generation, was robbed of 14 years of a bloody conflict only because of greed and selfishness. If it can be me, it can be any other person. If it can be this person, it can be another person. If it can be us, it can be them. But I tell you the truth, the hour has come for the just to live by faith. For the just to live by faith. The hour has come for things to change in this nation. The hour has come for those who are called by his name to begin to live by his principles. When are we going to start eating the Liberian bread and eating the Gio bread and the Pele bread? When are we going to stop drinking water from Lebanon? When are we going to stop eating food that was cooked in another nation? When are we going to stop eating food that was grown in other nations? We need to start walking the path of righteousness. And if the church that is the salt of the earth, if the church is sleeping, the nation will keep sleeping. If the church is dead, the nation will be deader. Is there anything like that? If the church is sleeping, the nation will slip into total state of anarchy. The church needs to wake up and start walking in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. For his name's sake. For his name's sake. From red light to free port, from free port to broad street, all the nightclubs are not owned by foreigners, all the drinking joints are not owned by foreigners. That's the best thing we know how to do to get stupid and get crazy. But when we see church, when we see church like Liberty Christian Center and over 100 vehicles parked on Sunday morning and over two, three thousand human beings come to watch and say, that man dearly, that man dearly, the man is walking in the path of the just. He's walking in the path of righteousness. 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 He said, for the path of the just. It is in the path of the compromiser. It is in the path of the adulterers. It is in the path of the thief. It is in the path of the corrupt one. It's in the path of the just. The just is the one that will walk in integrity. The just is the one that will walk in harmony at home with the wife and with the children. The just is the one that will say the truth and fear no evil. The word the just is the one that though imperfect, you must have fallen many times, but you will rise again to go forward. 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 The greatest help our nation needs is the rising of young people who will fear God. See what happened in Ganta, Nima County. Mob violence, mob justice. When are we going to stop these kind of things? And the people who did those things, many of them are church goers. The people who did them are church goers. They are Jesus people. But he said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves from the government to the least citizen that was born this morning, we all need to humble ourselves and come before God. We live in the last days. And in the last days, the Bible said, perilous times will come. Men will become lovers of themselves. Men will start loving pleasure more than they love God. So the church in Liberia has become a pleasurable center. A center of pleasure. Where nobody cares for the truth. But I tell you, the only thing that will survive us as a nation and help us to survive is the walking in the path of the just if you are a preacher be a preacher of the truth don't bow to another god all 
in the name of wanting to win certain category of people or wanting to win help from certain quarters. No. Let's leave this tribalism alone. If I don't come from this county, I can't vote for the person from this county. If I don't belong to this county, I can't go to the church from the person from this county. We need to understand that the church is the church of Jesus Christ. And if Jesus Christ's name is here and the truth about Jesus has been spoken, the gospel of the kingdom has been preached, all men must come. I say 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 all men must come. We could not meet in our main center today because of the selfishness and the greediness and the wickedness of some few. For the past three years, this young ministry has been rehabilitating that road. And in the process, coming close to our dedication time, we spent thousands upon thousands of dollars to fill the swamp, creating a new avenue for the people from Chickasaw Factory and Organisville to enter into Johnsonville without going through the Bannonsville traffic. And we did all we could, and we started using the road. And before you knew it, some people came, and they, they destroyed no, only because it was not in their interest or they did not attach it to their name or they did not ask them to do it and then we did it voluntarily so they refused to recognize it and they said you didn't write official quarters and I wrote official quarters they said we can do nothing about it because it's not in our budget it's not in our budget but our citizens are dying in that place our citizens are suffering in that place when are we going to care for the ordinary people if we claim to be Christians, let us be Christians. From nowhere, a young church woke up and, and undertook a project that brought pride to the whole nation. Built a sanctuary that was over two million U.S. dollars. And then not asking for money from anywhere. But come, let us unite and fix the road that lead to the church. He said, no, if you have money to build a church, you have money to build a road. But I want, to, I want you to know, I want you to let them know that the time is coming we will put Kota on that road. <laughs> Because the path of the just is as a shining light. It shines more. It shines more. It shines more. Now, if you are a stranger here and you were told that all that you see, they just started in the sitting room with those few persons and myself in the sitting room. And why in the sitting room? We didn't have money to buy a God generator. We used candle when we started. And we didn't have money to buy a plastic chair and we used benches when we started because i have understood something i will never beg or borrow or steal or tell a lie in the name of god if god can do it let a stay and from that level we grew to this level because the path of the just is as a shining light the just God will always entrust his riches, his blessing to the just person. A man that fear God will always have wealth and riches. You have not seen anything yet. Pastor Doma has vowed to God to fear God. And God will, will lift me to the point I will become the richest pastor in this nation. And God will use me to build orphanages. And we will build orphanages. And we will build orphanages. We will build hospitals. We will build schools. And we will donate it to the government. The same way we have been building roads and giving it to them. We will build schools and give it to them. Because the Bible says the government will be upon our shoulder. We are the ones to lead the government. We are the ones to tell them the right way. He says, say ye to the righteous. Say ye to the righteous. It shall be well with him. It shall be well with you. 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 And you will eat the fruit of your labor. That's Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 3. Say ye to the righteous, it shall be well. Isaiah 3.10, it shall be well and you will eat the fruit of your labor. 
So you don't labor in vain when you are serving God. All your labor in this nation, don't nobody recognize you. No, don't nobody understand why your pastor is so passionate about this nation and about the community and opening roads and building toilets and doing this and doing that. Then going out to take care of widows and take care of orphans because we are the light of our world. We are the salt of this earth. If we don't lay the example, if we don't lay by proper example, the war out there cannot help us but we ought to help them so we need to start walking in the path of righteousness where we hear the name of god and we tremble get to red light this morning the number of person buying and selling in red light this morning there are nobody more than number of person in this church as big as this church is it's a liberal largest church and we are growing in our thousands get to real light get to dwell this morning many are there selling buying and selling no respect for god lord make us it is time to wake up and make laws make laws that will favor the interest of god in our nation don't they make laws that will increase your salary don't they make law include your allowances Make Lord that way that way that will bring development to our nation, that will bring development to the livelihood of the ordinary people. The ordinary people, the path of the just is as a shining light, and it shines more, and it shines more, and it shines more, and it shines more. I decree you are going forward, you are going forward, you are going forward, we are going forward, you are going forward, we are going forward. The path of the just is a path that many don't want to tread. Many want to compromise. Many want to go the wrong way. Our greatest asset in this ministry is the truth. And you can do nothing but follow the truth. You can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. Then truth will always prevail. Truth will always prevail. Let those of us in the pulpit learn to live by the truth. When people bring money to a church and say this is church money, pastor don't convert it to your personal money. When people bring scholarship to church and say please, we want church people to get a scholarship, pastor don't convert it to your one two one two. Understand what I'm talking about? One two one two. I say one two one two. But no, give it to those who are in need. And when you take care of the poor, my Bible says God will prosper you. God will bless you because he that gave it to the poor, he lended unto the Lord. It is only righteousness that will exalt us as a people. So there are many that are in church, but they refuse to follow the path of the just. They are following other paths. You know how many deacons and elders in church that are already patronizing all the blotters in town. They patronize all the soothsayers and the sorcerers in town. If God can tell you the truth, sit down and wait for your time. Stop patronizing the medicine men and the zoos and the boyos. Stop sharing innocent blood for the name of political gain. That's not the right path to take. But our nation has gotten to the point where our eyes are open your amen is not good enough i say our eyes are open we now see the light you know a time came in this nation they used to sing one song our eyes are open no more corruption no the change is our eyes are closing some more corruption in the course of the people struggle continue you know that song very well our eyes are closing some more corruption in the course of the people struggle continue that is some we're seeing in early days of revolution. None of the corruption will continue. Trouble will continue. And our eyes were closed. Only the truth of God's word can open our eyes. Your amen is not good enough. Amen. Only the truth of God's word can open our eyes. Amen. And I decree today our eyes are open. Amen. We are not going back to our past. Amen. We are not going back to our past. Amen. We are not going back to our past. Amen. Now what are the signposts on the way when you come to walk with the law or walking on the path of the just signpost number one you must love god unconditionally if you love god genuinely as a believer you will love your brothers and sisters if you love god you will break the tribal barrier in this nation and not specialize in people from your tribal group you specialize in helping all liberians Love for God will make you to love your fellow man. 
Love of God will make you to love your nation. He said, pray for the peace of your Jerusalem, for they shall prosper that love their Jerusalem. Peace within our borders. Why do I know that we don't love this nation? Because we take out of this nation and we donate to other nations. I visited Austin, Texas. I visited Dallas, Texas. I visited Pennsylvania, uh, how you call it, uh, Philadelphia, and so on and so forth. I saw Liberians that have it. I mean, they have it. There are Liberians that have people, white people working for them. But you ask them, let's go back home and do some investment. Say, I'm going over to someone who can't kill me for my own business. There are Liberians that have built multi million dollar industries in America, in Nigeria, in other nations. They refuse to come back home. Are we under a curse? We don't love God, that's why we don't love our nation. We are not patriotic. People who collect salary from this nation today and collect allowances for their children, how many of them had children in school here? That's why we have a worse educational system because we call ourselves a Christian nation, but we hate each other. I saw somebody bear two buried in the community and say, Don't mind that man, I cram men because cram people get it. That's why he bear us. When somebody tried to work for government and guess and say, don't mind them, that all of them belong to the Gola family because the leadership that Gola, no, 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 no. We should stop dividing this country into pieces. A Liberian should be called a Liberian. A Christian should be called a Christian. We are the one to live by examples in this nation. We are the one to lead the way. So number one, we should demonstrate our genuine love for God. Our love for God will make us not to compromise as a people. Will make us not to sell our national sovereignty for a muzzle of meat. The love for God and the love for our brother man will make us to make investment that will implore other Liberians. By the special grace of God, this church has a payroll nationwide. And on the church payroll today, there are more than 80 persons that are collecting something at the end of the month. And I believe God in my lifetime, it will get to 8,000. It will move from 8,000. There are people driving cars today because this church is alive. There are people living in houses today where they pay US per month as their rent because of this church. There are people here today alive because they would have died if not that somebody paid their hospital bill. Not money where they come from. You heard? Young people testify. A young man said at a, a, a particular age, his father lost his job in 11th grade. But through this church instrumentality, through this pastor ingenuity, today he's a junior student. And I tell you the truth, through this pastor, he will finish university. He will serve in this ministry. He will grow and become great like Pastor Doma. This is why we are here. So please help us carry the good news out there. We are where we are today because we follow the path of the just. We are doing it right. We made the right choice, not the wrong choice. Say ye to the righteous. It didn't say say ye to the compromise. Say ye to the righteous. It shall be well with him. So if it is well with us in this place, trace our foundation. Trace our roots in serving God. Just this morning. Or new to the accounts department, I was here up to 2 a.m. or thereabout. And in the process, people wanted to buy lapa, they came. Apart from buying lapa, people gave me money for their tithe. Somebody gave me money for tithe. Another person gave me money as a project C. Put together over 600 plus US dollars. Before I came to preach, I called the department head. Please, money came last night, you were not around. This is it. You know why? That's why we are here. The last time our senior citizen was here with us, he dropped an envelope in my office. Only two of us were there. And I just smiled. I said, sir, thank you very much. And there was a check in it. And I took that check immediately after service. He said, who need I put it? I said, no, sir. In the church name. Because it's church money. Immediately after service, I called the department here. Please, our honorable Bronski, drop an envelope doing service or what have you. Please take it. It's not mine. That is the beginning. Because I love God, so I will not compromise, I will not tell lies in the name of my personal gain. In 10 years of existence, this church has not bought me the first bicycle, nor motorbike, nor car. I thought you say a better amen. amen. That is the power of the judge. I love God to a fault. 
I love God that the things of God, the kingdom of God must go forward before my personal aspect should, be, should come in. Number two signpost on the path of the just is what I call focus. Tell anybody neighbor focus. Many are following God but you are not focused. Focus has brought us to where we are. We never lost touch of what God said to us in the early 80s. And we focus on that vision and the vision is becoming a reality. Tell somebody, focus. focus. This is why I never look for a job with the UN. I never look for a job with the embassy. I never look for a job with anybody employing people. I kept my appointment with divine institution called heaven. Because I'm so concentrated on this assignment and all the men that follow me are so focused that if you gave them job in a construction company or some other place, they will tell you no because I must be focused on the future. I must be focused on my assignment. Tell somebody, focus. Looking unto Jesus who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Many of us are serving God but we don't focus on Jesus. We don't focus on our assignment. We don't focus on what God has given us as a task to perform. Jesus said, the eye is the light of the body. And if the eye is single, the whole body shall be full of light. But if the eye is here and there, here and there. This is why I sat down here for many years. I never applied for visa to go anywhere. And the day I applied... To go to America, they gave me two visa for one trip. I thought you say better, amen. amen. And I told them, check your clock. I will be there only one month or less than one month, and I will be back. And one month and came back. The next time, two weeks and came back. The next time, two weeks and came back. Because I'm so consumed with this assignment that nothing outside this assignment means anything to me. Amen. Tell your neighbor, focus. focus. So if you are on the path of the just, be focused. Be focused. Be focused. There is no room up there for anyone that have lost focus or a broken focus. A broken focus is a broken future. My mother begged me, come to America. Come and work with another ministry in America. Come to America. Come and get your green card. This one. I said, Mama, say yes. I said, please. I love God more than you. I will not go to America to become Jonah in another person's boat. But when I leave Nigeria, I will go to Liberia and I will start small. And when I start small, I will grow. And I will grow and I will grow to a point you will be proud of what is happening. She said, okay, I'll leave you alone. Today, she's thanking God for that decision. Tell somebody, focus. Some of us have genuine vision, but we, we have lack of focus. Lack of focus. The Bible says where there is no vision, the people perish. Proverbs 29, 18. But though there is a vision, be focused on the vision. Be focused on the vision. By this time next year, we should be in 13 new locations. Amen. Your amen is not good enough. Amen. We will be in Bicano, Grand Bassa County. Amen. We will be in Sino County, Greenville. Amen. We will be in Maryland County, Harper City. Amen. We will be in Fishtown, uh, how you call it, River G County. And we are moving to foyer and many command, Lofa County. Yeah. I thought you said better, amen. Yeah. Today we are in 13 locations, but the Lord said to me, during the course of this program, we are going to multiply. Sanikwele, yeah. Nima County, Yekepa, Nima County, we are going to those places. Yeah. Not only that, Monserrado County still need Jesus. We need a church in West Point. Yeah. We need a church on Ken Johnson Road. Yeah. I thought you said better, amen. Yeah. We need a church in New Crew Town. The light of this gospel must share. What you are hearing here, other Liberians should hear it. Be focused on the assignment. Only focused people have a future. Another signpost on the path of the just is what I call sacrifice. Sacrifice. No becomes reality without sacrifice. As Liberians and as Christians, we must learn the secret of sacrifice. It is sacrifice that brought us here as a church. Not comfort, but sacrifice. 
Sacrificing for the betterment of others. Sacrificing for the name of God to be lifted. Christians, we need to learn the secret. Why are our West African brothers making it? Get to Nigeria, get to Ghana, see the churches, see how blessed the people are. The secret is sacrifice. Sacrifice. We need to stop the plenty big men business and lay aside our pride and sacrifice. Liberia, we like too much of big men business. I am X, Y, Z, I am this, I am that. No. Even if you are a leader, be a religious or political, you are a servant. I say you are a servant. I say you are a servant. We lost so much title in this nation that we are entitled to nothing. Somebody on the street bluffing with walkie-talkie and uh, sit in the government car or one NGO car and put a hand to the window and spray with the air condition, put a dark goggle on when he asks when he comes down. He says, yes, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I say, even Zinra, he get it. He been renting the past 20 years and he became man. And he still renting. But he bluffing in somebody's air-conditioned jeep with somebody borrow walkie-talkie and somebody borrow salary that he didn't give me for the past six months. He still bluffing. Bluffing over nothing. Learn to be humble, Liberians. Let's sacrifice our comfort. Let's get down to the level of service. It is service that will lift us. He says, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Learn to serve. My pastors here know that if I walk into this church compound and I see people, everybody will pick it up. Because who bought monkey dash banana? To see me picking up paper, then pastor said that you're reading Bible. Which Bible? The one that I showed you how to read before? Put the Bible once and let me pick up the paper. <laughs> you see the, the building behind here? When you check the video, I was pushing we barrow. Myself push we barrow. Myself carry shovel. And then somebody said, Papi, Papi, I beg you, let me take the shower. I said, don't try me. Myself too looking for it. You will throw in shovel because you want to be blessed. Myself throw in my shovel, I want to be blessed. Here. Who? Uh, here. Here. <laughs> when they say, what happened? I said, myself too are looking for it. No big man here. Everybody equal in the eyes of God. You're not going to a different heaven, myself, different heaven. We're all going to the same heaven. Put a beam and bend it one side. Roll your sleeves. How can I start building toilets in communities? How can I start distributing to the need? Yesterday there was a huge challenge in our nature. There's a storm that visited us. Some people's roof came up. And I know one or two persons called me. A pastor called me. I said, my son, go and document all that is needed for that building. As the Lord lived, this time next week you have a roof over your head. <laughs> They're not labor the church. Oh, they different church. The church get different need. They get different pastor. But he called me and I said, I must do something about it. That's what it means to sacrifice. Don't sit down and be your chest. After all, I'm a church. After all, and, 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 and I'm a ministry, so I can't help them. I can't do this. No. After all, they don't belong to my party. After all, they don't belong to my tribal group. We don't come from the same place. We don't speak the same dialect. Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. That's the only way we will go forward. That's the only way we will enjoy the blessings of the next level. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Living sacrificially. The Bible said Jesus performed miracle. And after they fed the 5,000, the Bible said they rushed to him to make him ruler. He disappeared from them. He sacrificed something for them. He gave them something they needed most. You are here though you have fallen before. Though you have gone through challenges. But I say to you, you will rise again. Amen. You must rise again. Amen. You must rise again. Amen. Righteousness will exalt this nation. The path of the just is the right path to take. The path of the just is the right path to take. The love of God will make you to make the difference. I say the love of God will cause you to make the difference. So keep loving him. Don't break your focus. Live a sacrificial life. Also, learn to forgive and forget. One of my sons stood up here to share testimony. According to him, 1990, his parents were killed in his presence. And he vowed never to have anything to do with people from the county where 
the people, the murderers that murdered his parents came from. He never knew that I came from that same county. And later did he know that the same man that he saw injured standing over here, according to him, I was kneeling on this altar one day doing communion time. And I'm always fasting, doing communion anyway. And I was going like this and going like that. And he then came to the church, a couple of which he was observing. And from nowhere, according to him, he closed the eye, he saw a huge person dressed in white was standing over me and there was something connecting the person to me. And then God told him, say, this is the place you need to worship. Then later on, he got to know that I came from that area. He said, oh, who said Pastor Dorma I come from the people place? They wicked people then. But anyway, he said, in tears, when he made that confession, he said, I want to do who vow never to do anything with these kind of people. But thanks be to God, today, I can forgive, I can forget. That's what it means to be a Christian. That's how our nation will go forward. That's how we will go forward as a church. That's how we go forward as a church. Now, people have walked out on me in this ministry, and I still pay their children's school fees. There are people that have walked out and say, I want to be part of this church again, and they go. And when they jam roll, and they call me, they greet me, and they say, how far were the children? Because they know me, they want, you are a man, the first thing I'll ask you, how your wife? The next thing, how the children? Before I ask you, how your job? I'll ask for those two things, wife and children. Mm, the children are not in school. But hey, you passed off for your own ministry. You feel finished leaving me. You say, I'm not good. But you know why? I forgive. So if I have it, I will still reach out to them. During the heat of Ebola, I put my jeep on the road. I visited ETU. Not only that, some of those same people that left the church, at least a couple of them, I know two, three of them, let me far off from here. I drove to their houses and said, hey, Ebola been talking. You get chloride. Oh, chlorine. You got chlorine? Oh, chlorine. You got food? Hold the hat back around. Hold the hat back around. You know why? Because what I make happy for others, God will make happy for me. When I forgive others, God will forgive me. We all have infirmities. We all have iniquities covering us. But what you do to somebody will determine what God do for you. We need to learn to forgive. You can't grow a big church if everybody step on your toe, you react. You can't grow a Jesus family. Where in fact Jesus knew that a very person who will betray him sat down and ate food with him. And after eating the food, he said, go do the thing quick, quick. Eh? Go and betray me quick, quick. So I can go and come back because I need to go come back. Go and betray me quick, quick. It was Jesus that pushed Judas to go and do it quick, quick. He didn't segregate. He didn't segregate. It is my prayer that this short war will help us go forward in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Lastly, as a believer walking in the path of righteousness, expect a reward. Expect God to reward you. My Bible says God is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Thank God for the uniform you're wearing today. But unknown to you, there's a crown over some of you head. Those people that are caught up here, those 12 families that are caught in the 13, 14 of them that are caught up, those families, they have crown concerning this ministry. Because some of them prayed the first prayer before this ministry started. Some of them gave the first money before this ministry had money. Some of them gave the first seed before this ministry had anything. They stood there, faithfully, committedly. When there was nothing, they were there. So many of them, God has a special reward for them. Pastor Dumba may not reward them. Pastor Dumba may not recognize them. But heaven will remember them. So on the path of the just, you may suffer for a while. But after you have suffered for a while, my God will settle you. I say my God will settle you. My God will strengthen you. My God will settle you. My God will strengthen you. He will make way where there seems to be no way. He will make it to happen again for you. Expect a reward. You are in a kingdom of the living God. And he has the best things reserved for his children. For his followers. Say it to the righteous. Isaiah 3 and verse 10. It shall be well with him. And you will eat the fruit of the labor. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that fear the Lord. Wet and riches will be in his house. And his righteousness will endure forever. Beyond every glory there is a story. Beyond every story, there is a glory. So today, the story may not be good, but there's a glory coming out for you. I say there's a glory coming out for you. There's a glory coming out for you, and there's a glory coming out for you.
But pay the price now to make Liberia a better place. Pay the price now to make this church a more habitable place. God told me, I'm going to reward you because you have not only built the largest sanctuary for me. You, these few days, we demonstrated something. We built the fastest sanctuary. <laughs> The whole extension out there, the last time Honorable was here, there was no church behind there. Nothing was there. But I announced to the church, second Sunday in September, I said, as the Lord live it, by September 29, we have a new church behind there. Some of the leaders started hiding their head again. They said, they may come in KO again. They may come in chaos again. <laughs> they may ready again. I told them, I said, please, the one you gave to renovate the church is more than enough. But if there's anything you can do, one or two bags of cement will not be bad. But we will empty our coffers to make sure that it becomes a reality. Don't be under pressure. And as the Lord lived, it, nobody was under pressure. And everything happened under three weeks. Under 18 days, we started using the building. My prayer for you is that God will reward you. It is your tithe and your offering because we are committed in using it for the right purpose. This is not a church where the pastor takes the five percent of the tithe. This is not a church where the tithe belongs to the pastor. Don't do it. Anyone doing it is robbing you. Tithe belongs to God. And let the pastor be paid out of it, but he should not take all of it. He can be paid out of it, but he should not be paid with all of it. As you expect your reward, you shall be rewarded here on earth. You shall be rewarded properly. So go out there and win souls. Go out there and tell somebody the good news. Because this nation is yet to see something. There is something oozing out from this place. There is a revival bossing forward and you are a part of it. You are a part of it. In the overflow, you are a part of it. Something is happening in this nation. And I say you are a part of it. If you are a part, let your amen be louder. Let your amen be the loudest. Let your amen be the loudest. Let your amen be the loudest. Your reward will come in form you least expect. Your reward will come in categories you least expect. Your reward for righteousness will come the time you least expect. Your integrity will bail you out. I say your integrity will bail you out. Your integrity will bail you out. Your integrity will bail you out. Bail you out. So shall it be. Please rise this morning. And appreciate Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father, help me to walk the path of righteousness. Help me to walk the right path. Help me, Lord. I need wisdom. I need grace to tread the path of righteousness. For your name's sake. For your name's sake. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. Help me. Help